A few years back, I was in the studio of Bill Maggio, and he was critiquing my work. About midway through, he said, Gary, what are you trying to do with your work? No, tell me in one sentence what you're trying to do with my, your work. No, tell me in one word what you're trying to do with your work. And I sat there and I thought, what was I trying to do? What is that word? And a couple words came to my mind, but then all of a sudden, a word came to my mind that represented how I did everything in life. How I had done my job at the county, how I had interacted with my friends when I was a teenager, what I felt was very important and probably the very basis of life. And the word was compassion. And the other word that came up was vulnerability, because they were linked. Shortly after that, I read a quote that kind of confirmed this notion. The way you do one thing is the way you do everything. I also started to think of my work as characterized as a journey inward and a journey outward. The journey inward, looking at those vulnerable parts of myself, those parts that have not been resolved. The journey outward was outside of my comfort zone, interacting with others that are not necessarily like myself. And so my art began to take on this notion of what was happening in my life. Uh, it started with a, uh, an installation called The Child Inside, where I started to deal with feelings that I had of being a child in a room of adults, kind of on the margins. And it was, um, I had taken Super 8 uh, film that my father had shot of me as a child and sandwiched it with film that my son shot of me doing the same things in the same place and then projected this on a painting. Uh, I found that when I had completed this installation, that feeling of being a child on the margins went away. There was some healing in the midst of that. The next big series I did was a series of portraits of persons who had been homeless. This was not a group of individuals that I had uh, regularly had contact with. And so I worked with the Hope Center and started to um, get to know folks and learn such an important lesson. Um, there is no they, it's all us. Uh, two of the men were joint artists with me. I learned so much on that journey outward. This represents another journey inward. This is from a series called Who Told You That You Were Naked? where I decided to go into the place of my own shame uh, sometimes born out of guilt of being raised in a Catholic household, sometimes being uh, raised in an alcoholic household. Uh, and uh, so I decided to do a series of nudes uh, and portraits. The nudes were um, blocking their identity and the portraits stared directly at the viewer. Um, I was dealing with shame and I, the, um, story in Genesis came to me when uh, Adam and Eve hide from God and God says, why did you hide? Adam says, we were naked. And he asked that question, but who told you you were naked? And I thought, this is a consciousness raising question. And I'm thinking of this just about the time Edward Snowden is letting us all know that metadata is being collected by the NSI. And I started to think that we we're all naked. Everything we do is being monitored, and it's expanded exponentially since Snowden. Um, with social media, Google, uh, Amazon, Apple, all of them collecting your data and monetizing it. And I thought, what, how is life changed? How is the human experience changed with the knowledge of this surveillance and with our own participation in it? because we participate in the voyeurism and exhibitionism that Facebook allows us to participate in. 
Uh, and so this is what this series became about. What started dealing with an issue in my heart, uh, journey inward, became another kind of journey outward. And so this is one of the portraits that is um, staring out, and I have a number of them in my studio that made me feel uncomfortable every time I walk in, uh, with a certain amount of judgment. Uh, what I hope to do with my work is uh, to help people feel a little uncomfortable, a little vulnerable, because it's in vulnerability, it's in openness, that we can receive what's next, uh, what's coming next from the universe, whatever that may be. And I think we become more human when we're more vulnerable, and we become more compassionate and interconnected when we're vulnerable. And so this is just one piece of a larger installation that I hope to be showing in 2023 questions. Thank you so much for listening.